Oops. Oops. The only thing, whoop. I can't hold it. Yeah, we're gonna lose our. Uh, yeah, let's bring our motor back out here a little bit. Got that? Yeah, lock her down. Trace, what, wanna, what kind of strategy coming, do you have here? Nothing much. All we can do is really just hold this thing. We'll see if Trace can grab a piece of flywheel as well. I tell you what, let's, let's do. Let's stop and. Uh, thread us a metal bar into here. Okay, so we, uh, we've had to figure out a way besides me holding this flywheel uh, to torque these bolts on. Our torque value is 22 foot-pounds um, plus 90 degrees. Plus 90 degrees. And uh, so I've made a little aluminum rod here where I can uh, hold this flywheel a little easier and Brain's gonna torque them down. All right, let's see what we've got here. Got our torque wrench set at 22 foot-pounds. You always want to hold the torque wrench out on the end. And let's see here. Let's go around and make sure we got 22. This, this one. one. There we go. All okay, right. so now we're going to go 90 degrees, huh? Yeah. What's that about? So 22 foot-pounds plus 90 degrees. So you're just going to put a little mark on here. About a quarter turn after 22. So it must not be too critical. Yeah, let me get to... Probably wanting to prevent us from over-torquing it. All right, get this off of here. I'm going to torque these down the... Uh, the mini spec calls for 21 foot pounds, but first we've got to get this in. As you can see here, there is a marking on here that says this side toward gearbox. So that's how we know which way this uh, uh, the clutch disc goes. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to get a couple of these on here. We also have a, uh, let me find it with some glasses. I don't know if you can see on one of the cameras, but we've got a, uh, here's your three dots. Or three dots. When we had it balanced, we have to line up these three dots with, uh, with these three dots with right three here. Dots. So we're going to put this up like this with this toward the gearbox side. Right. And then we're going to go ahead and center this as best as we can because of the secret uh, mini tool that we can't seem to get right. to uh, center the uh, clutch disc. So we'll just get all the bolts in and then when we start to torque that down, we can move that disc. Well, I'll show you a trick. See, we've actually got a uh, center in the coupler. Yeah, and I got this too. This will go through it, that, that uh, tool. Mm -hmm. That one here, and it kind of... Oh, that kind of... Yes, it kind of does it. You might be able to... I don't know if you can you grab it with that or move it around. Oh, I can move the clutch. Okay. Here. I'm going to put all the... Oops, that's what we do need. And if I can just get two of them started, then that, that thing won't move. Then we can slip it into position. Yeah. We can kind of look down through the clutch at the center of, it's like a, a pilot point where the chuck went in our coupler. If we can get that visually centered, this just has to be centered until we get the uh, transmission shaft into the clutch. So we want it pretty well centered, but this is not as yeah. critical as it looks. Um, if we have it more or less centered, why don't you take a look at right? Let's see what we got. Um, then once we uh, slide the, this onto the transmission shaft, uh, that centers it where we want it to be. And we'll just kind of bring these down again to bring them, want them to get nice and go straight on there. So we'll do 
Another opportunity there? Not exactly, but there we go. Okay. All right. So we have uh, put it up to the recommended 21 foot pounds. It might not look pretty, but we got enough on it to torque it up. Well, this is looking pretty good. I think this is turning freely. No, uh, no movement, no clunking, no wobble, nothing no clunking, weird, no bumping. I, uh, I like it, Brain. You know, if we had a transmission. i be able to bolt the transmission on there. It would seem like the thing to do. Well, we have one, and we had to uh, put a new throwout bearing in that and a, and a uh, bushing. So we've got a new trans no, rebuilt transmission, at least on the outside. We'll grab half of it. We'll throw it up here. All right, let me get some stuff out of the way here. You got my flashlight out of the way. Oh, shit, I did. <laughs> the flying flashlight. Our Getrag 6. You know, Getrag has uh, come out with some drive systems. They're kind of prototypey. They're sort of demos. But we've started talking to them about a project, and uh, we might uh, get something going there. Yeah, they're coming around. We just have to speak to or speaking to the uh, to the Germans. Looks like the the group is in uh, the E Drive groups in Germany. But uh, yeah, that we're getting there. Supply line thing is still an issue. Yeah, um, I have to slide this around. But you know, let's uh, get this turned around straight on. There we go. Everybody in? Oops. Everybody in? I guess we're, I guess we're really only balanced on the on the front. Okay. All right. Now, what do we want to do? Pick this up and put her on there. Yeah. Put it straight in. Take it back because I'm probably just going to have the splines lined up. The what? Probably the splines on the pressure plate. I mean, on the clutch disc are just not lined up with this. Okay. And there we are. We go. We got to hit the pin. Where is the pin? Right here toward me. Keep rolling the rotating the transmission toward me. This way. This way. Yep. There we are. Okay, let's let it sit like that for a minute. I'm gonna have to get a couple bolts on it. You gotta get something under the transmission. <coughs> Watch your hands. Right. There. That'll do it for right now. How's that? All right. I right, can hold it. Put a bolt to it. Tighten all these down to make sure we've got them, but just so that everybody can see, that's uh, that's looking bolted together again. And I'll, we have I'll made tighten it all up. Our uh, adapter and plate and motor to the Getreg Six transmission. <coughs> We're ready to go back into the car, but um, frankly, you've been in the car. We're going to have Brian and Trace go ahead and install this and get yep. back to our controller tests. Yeah, yeah, and, they've seen uh, it going in, and they've seen this next part. This now is, no, I guess we've made all the sausage. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think it'll work this time. Um, hopefully vibration-free, mm -hmm. but uh, you find out by testing, not by guesting. And uh, so that's what we're going to do is put her in and uh, run it and see what we've got. Um, again, I want to thank all our friends at MESDEA, Victor <laughs> Tikhanov, and the entire nation of Russia uh, for being there for us. 
and uh, the uh, I has been warned. <laughs> You've been warned. I think we've got her together. <laughs> it's too expensive on the uh, adapter uh, for this motor uh, to this transmission. Um, you get no help from uh, the people that make the motor. Yeah. And in fact, they put some cheap crap on there for you to take off and replace for about a thousand bucks um, is what that wound up costing us. Um, but for a custom machine version and what they have stamped um, cast uh, 